What's up everybody, this is Arcagus, and this is another episode of TCG Card Shop Simulator. We're coming up on day nine of the simulation. We don't have enough money to buy new stock, not really. So we're gonna jump ahead without any backup uh, inventory. So here we go. <clears throat> So I'm hoping that eventually we'll have like a bulk card cabinet that we can just store all of our commons and low value card uh, card stock so that eventually this spot is reserved for just the, the high value cards and the rest of them are just you know, kind of discarded in that, those cabinets where people can buy them as they please. But they don't get, like, premium shelf space or occupy uh, a stand that can be better suited with something else. Oh, I like you. That reminds me, we need to check the values, make sure... We're still, we're staying in line with the market. Nobody's playing today. Ah. Okay, I spoke a little bit too soon. All right, let's check our market prices, make sure we're still in line with the market. Actually, the basic card box has gone up 29 cents and the basic card pack's gone up seven cents. Everything else we care about has remained the same. Actually, card sleeves have gone up, so let's let's adjust our try price. Ah, adjust our prices. Let's go to twenty-five seventy-five. Let's see, twenty-six seventy-five. Have I been undercharging for these? They should go up about five cents. I'll stick with it. You're welcome. We don't have a lot in the way of... What am I thinking? We don't have a lot in the way of valuable cards right now. They all sold pretty quickly. And they padded our bottom line for a while, but now we're having to get by on just straight profit from inventory revenue, which is not nearly as uh, lucrative. Oh! Denied! How did that happen? Thank <laughs> you. 
The price of cleanser has gone down 41 cents. We need to adjust for that. And the, some of the dice have gone up and gone down. that one before I even put it out. It's Sunday night in Taiwan as I record this video, and uh, my mother-in-law was spending some time over here with our kids. I got seven of these sea dents. Five flamies. percent markup is all that bad. I just don't know what this game considers to be fair versus problematic. these green hoodies. Maybe I should sell them. Call it the gaming hoodie.
That was a good return. try to get rid of those low-cost ones. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother them. some revenue back we can use that to restock a little bit but I feel like we're still a little bit behind the curve all right so you know the box just yet. I'm just going to buy a box for 32 bucks. And I think we're okay on everything else for now. So we're just going to go with that. We're not ready for the figurines until we can get a new display for them. Nothing else is unlocked, it looks like. Okay, so let's just order. How was your game? Short as it was. There you go. You have a good night. some new packs though. Okay, some decent value in one of them. Not that one. Kind of broke even on that one. Good value in that one. Okay. That gives us something to work with. And as usual, we'll open one of these as well. Okay, so 
So that was a, that was a good draw. I mean, not as not as good as some of the other basic packs we've had, but still pretty good. All right, we're done with the day. Let's go ahead and get started on our next day. Can we get another table in here? They... They snap? Why didn't anybody tell me that they snap? again. Look, prices have gone up for the basics. And same for the rare card pack. Car sleeves are up. Cleanser has gone down again. But the dice are fluctuating again as well. Let's change the price of the red dice. Try it. Pretty sure. Why is that one not working? There we go. I kind of want to see if that flies. If they, anybody notices or anybody actually pays that. Obviously, it'd be a glitch and an exploit, but I'm tempted just to see what happens. 98 cents. $60, $39 back. extra table after today we're going to go up to the new event 
I know we qualify. I'm pretty sure we qualify for the new event. album. black we need card sleeves we need card box And I did not see that guy sneak in. Uh, I've seen a full set of tables. Passive income is the best income. We're gonna play pay uh, we're going to pay special attention to the summary today because we need to decide if we're gonna upgrade from the popper event to the next event. Okay. Okay, 
we're sticking with what we said, right? White, black, card sleeves, everything else is okay. Oh, that's right. This is the new full size box, the 64. We almost almost got the whole thing stuck. That's about to change because we're going to open packs. Not off to a good start. That's our first real decent card. Good to go. Again, we're going to check our summary. I want to see. Supply cost, upgrade cost, profit, item earning, card earning, game earning. So we're making 199, we're spending 50. One dissatisfied customer. I don't know what I did to dissatisfy them. Okay, so I think let's see. If we go to the next event, it's only twenty dollars more of it. But we gain another two dollars per hour for the event, so that definitely worth worth our time, worth our effort. And then for the next event is the Earth Cup, which we already qualified. Okay, we're going to stick with Fire Cup for now. And what I think we'll do is we'll alternate between Fire and Earth over the next few days until we 
are ready to move on to the uh, water. And what else is it? Water and then wind. So they both unlock at 200. No, wind unlocks at 250. Okay. So we'll do fire, then we'll do earth, and if we unlock water within that, we'll just keep keep progressing until we get to wind. But we'll do fire now, even though we qualify for earth, just so we don't skip anything. All right. But that's where we're going to stop. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and or follow, depending on which platform you see us on. And until next time, you guys be safe. We'll see you in the next one.